is so bad for the environment. What kind of milk should I drink instead? Move over, soy. There's a new trendy milk in town. Oat milk. This is oat milk. It's one of dozens of non-dairy milks to enter the dairy alternative scene over the last 20 years. And we came up with this line. It's Only. like milk, but made for humans. Very simple. Wait, what do you... Uh, uh, uh. Do oats have nipples? Yes. Oat milk is literally a scam. Let me explain. When the Swedish company Oatly launched oat milk in America back in 2016, it was Swedish. presented as the coolest, sexiest, hottest new milk on the block. A plant-based lifestyle is for everyone and anyone. It's not just for hipsters. Not <laughs> hipster. According to Oatly, oat milk is healthier than cow's milk. You see, a plant-based lifestyle is not about who, it's about why. And anyone can eat plant-based if they feel like being more sustainable and helping the planet out. Anyone? Um. That's right, Al. Anyone. And that if you bought their overpriced oat water, you would reduce your carbon footprint by... I did not know that it was from Sweden. I thought it was an American thing. 73%. Oh, God. So, obviously, everyone bought in. I mean, why not? It looks like okay. milk. It tastes like milk. It I foams just, up in the... I, I debate. I, that's debatable. Oat milk does not taste like milk. It's a substitute, but yeah. Lattes like milk. And according to them, it's even better than real milk. When in reality, oats plus water alone tastes horrible. So to get commercial oats and soy milk gave me kidney stones. Really? What was it in it that gave you kidney stones? That sucks. Oat what milk the fuck? To taste as good as it does, these companies jam a ton of seed oils and chemicals oh, yeah. into it, like yep. dipotassium phosphate, a food yep. additive that has been linked to kidney disease and early. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Death. kidney disease, huh? Grape seed oil, aka canola oil, which is a seed oil. And then there's malt, a sugar whose glycemic load is double that of a Jesus Christ, what the fuck? has double the load of table sugar? White sugar. In fact, Mama one serving of oat man. milk has the same blood sugar effect as a can of Coke. I and believe gram that. for gram, oat milk has the same amount of seed oils as french fries. <laughs> wow, now that sounds healthy. See, these oat milk companies don't care about protecting... That's that's evil, man. Um, evil food supply. By the way, I totally understand that evil food supply has a little bit of a bias, but still, if you actually look at the evidence, yeah, it's not great. And this Not only is food getting worse, but cybercrime is also getting worse. Oh, With money no! lost to cybercrime edge! doubling since edge? 2020, oh, that's why you gotta protect yourself and your parents online. And the app we trust to do that is our sponsor, Aura. Aura is the award-winning super app that combines everything nuts. you need to protect yourself online. From financial fraud protection to identity theft no protection, way. antivirus no, software, a, and a built-in password sure. manager, Aura has it all. Long with just one affordable Inch. subscription. And although this stuff may sound like it will never happen to you, think about your parents or grandparents. Think about well, how like easy it is to ends. fool them <laughs> online. Thankfully, Aura has a family plan where for one affordable oh price, you can protect Shh. up to five adults and unlimited kids. All you have to do is get enrolled, activate Unlimited protection, and that's kids? it. Uh, then whenever something suspicious happens, like someone uh, tries to open a credit card in your name, kids? you'll get notified. Aura is so confident that they even give you a million dollars in insurance <laughs> to cover eligible losses and fees due to identity theft. And you get a 60-day money-back guarantee. And if you sign up right now with the link below, Aura.com slash evil food, Aura will give you a 14-day free trial. And you will be shocked at how much of your personal I'm information Aura finds exposed in just those two weeks. 
So pause the video and go to aura.com slash evil food to get protected now. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right, no. add over, oh, add over, oh, wake up, no. chat. Um, ah, <gasps> uh. oh, um, uh, is that? <laughs> Selling oat milk is actually a genius move. Why? Because oats are one of the cheapest crops on the planet. True. A pound of oats only costs you a mere five cents. And you can turn that five cent pound of oats into 15 liters of oat milk. Add in wow. some water and boom. You have a carton of milk-like liquid that costs you mere pennies to make that you can sell for insanely high margins at the grocery store. Now compare this business model with real milk. All these dairy farmers have to slave away day and night, feeding the cows, milking the cows, mm -hmm. taking care of the cows, to the point where their milk costs a dollar and eleven cents per liter to make, where they wow. can only sell it for an average of four dollars and eighty cents at the grocery store. While Oatly, the retail price of one liter of Oatly That's is an insane five dollars and thirty cents, while their ingredients are psychotically cheaper. They're pretty simple beings corporations so they're money, chasing money, 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 growth money, 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 and profit money, money, money. at all times and this is a great way to generate growth and profit add new marketing lines uh, they're highly profitable because you charge more it's well known that these vegan processed foods are more expensive than their counterparts in meat and dairy and vegetables they it's funny because we buy into the whole idea of like it's it's, it takes more effort to like make it, but it's really not. It's just marketing. Sometimes oat milk is even double the price of regular milk. Yeah. But hold on, you can't just dump oats and water into a box and expect people to hand over their hard earned money for it. Because real homemade oat milk with no added sugar tastes like garbage juice. It does. You need to make sure your product tastes immaculate. It needs to look, feel and taste even better it, it's so bad. I've actually tried to make like oat milk myself once without like a like a sweetener, like maple syrup or something. It tastes it tastes like shit. Better than cow's milk. And how do you make oat water taste like the right. real thing? With a little bit of big food engineering. Yeah. <laughs> More sugar than coke, damn. I like it. It's got a nice nutty flavor to it. It's like mandarin, strawberries, lemons, grass, leather, lollipop, pineapples, uh -huh. pears, bubble gums. Uh -huh. It's like awake some flavors you had from your childhood. Huh? So why does Oatly taste like liquefied ice cream? What the f- what? while homemade oat milk tastes like dirt. The secret is in the enzymes. Oatly adds an enzyme to their oat water mix called amylase, which basically pre-digests it. This is exactly what happens in your mouth when your saliva breaks down starchy uh... foods into simple sugars. And these enzymes seem pretty innocent, but breaking down oats like this causes a very specific type of sugar to form. Maltose. Yeah. And maltose is sickeningly sweet, Super sweet. With a glycemic index of 105. For comparison, white sugar has a glycemic 65. index of 65. Yep. And lactose, the sugar in cow's milk, has an index of only 46. And as the CEO of Oatly, you really don't want the public to find out that your oat milk can blow their blood sugar to the stars. Diabetes. Lucky for you, the FDA doesn't require you to list sugars. By the way, they use Oatly in Starbucks, and that's why it's so sweet when you like order stuff like that. Created during the manufacturing process in your ingredients. So obviously you leave maltose out. And just to make sure everyone gets the point, you'll write on your website that Oatly is cane sugar free uh, yes. <laughs> only is cane sugar free yeah. but it's not free of other sugars but hey no one needs to know that one serving of your oat milk has the same blood sugar effect as a can of coke <laughs> as long as your milk is sweet and delicious and it makes people mm, feel good yum, they're yum, not yum, drinking yum. cow's milk the masses will keep chugging it down and now all you need is a few more ingredients in your million dollar milk that's what blows my mind. I guess maybe it's just the brainwashing, but like, 
I never thought milk tasted that sweet. It's supposed to taste like almost neutral with like a tiny bit of sweetness. It's insane to me that people are like, oh my god, Oli is just like real milk, and oat milk is just like real milk. It's like, no, it's not. It's really sweet. Ready to serve. Whole milk is super sweet. No, I disagree. Really, it's not. It tastes, it tastes really neutral. Yeah, it's not sweet, man. I don't know what you're smoking. A carton of the thing chemicals. you need to make your fake milk just as rich and creamy as cow's milk is some fat. Yep. But not just any kind of fat. You need the cheapest fat you can find. Like Expeller Press Canola Oil. Woo! On the Oatly carton, you'll see this labeled as rapeseed oil, which is the actual name for canola oil. Yes, it's actually called rapeseed. And well, yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, that's a thing. Like, canola oil is rebranded because it has a bad word in it. The thing about canola oil is that it contains trans fats. And the thing about trans oh fats is that they're not like real fats that are found in nature. No, trans fats are an artificial man-made fat that is mm, created during yum. the oil manufacturing process. And needless to say, these artificial trans fats are an abomination for your health. Yeah. Alzheimer disease, heart disease. People people develop really bad uh what is it called? Um IBS from that as well. It's very irritating. Breast cancer, colon cancer, diabetes, you name it, trans Allergies. fats play a role. And even though trans fats were banned by the FDA in 2015, they still allowed food companies to include 0.5 grams per serving while still being able to put the label zero grams of trans fats on the packaging. We have all these products that have up to 10% trans fats. They're riddled with this nasty stuff and they still Nine, get to put 12. a big fat zero on yeah. the package. And guess what else is in canola oil? Aldehydes, a toxin found in oxidized seed oil that has been shown to raise cancer risk exponentially. And apparently the canola oil you're using in your oat milk has been heated and therefore oxidized. But you're gonna need Yum. more than just canola oil to bring your oat milk recipe to cow milk standards. You'll also need an emulsifier, like dipotassium phosphate. Emulsifiers are what actually allow the water and seed oils in your concoction to mix. To, to and mix, dipotassium yeah. phosphate is an emulsifier that was originally derived from urine and animal bones. Again, I, I have to preface that this guy has a very biased and he does present it in a certain way. There are certain things that you can like combine that sound bad, but ultimately it is a derivative of something else to make something like I, I, I can't really name it off the top of my head because um, it's kind of late and I've got a headache, but um, it, it, it sounds really bad, but other things. Yeah, like some co colors are made from bugs and like stuff like that. It just, it, yeah, it works. It, it, has, it depends on the context. That will cause your oat milk to foam up like a dream. That way, but he does baristas have a point. will become obsessed. Not exactly with it. completely. Never mind that phosphate untrue. additives have been linked to chronic kidney disease, calcium deposits in the arteries, and higher rates of yep. heart attacks. In yep, this is exactly what uh, Drow was talking about calcium deposits in the hardening of the arteries in the heart, even in healthy young men. Except it happens in your kidneys because of the oxalates that they have inside Young of them. Men. And don't even worry that the Washington Post calls phosphate additives the next trans fats. Mm -hmm. None of that matters because now you have the perfect formula, the perfect chemical concoction to convince Woo! the world to give up cow's milk for good. There's just Tasty. one ingredient left, a marketing campaign to dupe the masses. Yep, marketing is insane. No matter how good your artificial milk tastes, if you don't have the right marketing, none of that is gonna matter. Yep. The food industry is competitive. Shelf space is competitive. So not only do you need to somehow convince the masses that drinking this chemical concoction is good for you, you also have to convince them that drinking oat milk is cool. So you need to find a way to create a cult following. And here's mm -hmm. how you're gonna do it. Step one. Hire a bunch of artists, writers, and marketing experts to help run Oatly's Department of Mind Control. Is um, almond milk bad? 
as long as it doesn't contain a bunch of trans fats and uh, other ingredients that are listed here, no. Like, oat milk isn't inherently bad, like that guy said. You can make oat milk. You can use natural sweeteners like maple syrup or add, adding, like, tablespoons of, like, sugar. But it's not going to taste as good as this because you're not adding all the tasty stuff that they put in there at the cost of your health. Like, there's nothing wrong with oat milk. It's just how they make it. Step two. Cover every yep. major city with Oatly propaganda. Step three, yep. create a string of quirky YouTube videos with oat milk cartons as characters. Step four, yep. change the packaging of your oat milk to something more cool and hip and write yeah. things like join the post milk generation cult so on the side. And so we use the packaging to tell our story and to become less corporate and more real. On the side of the bottle that lists all the- <laughs> Less corporate, you still make billions of dollars. I fucking hate people like the this. The oils and chemicals that you'd I rather to, people not pay attention to. Title it as the corporate. boring side. We've had a big debate every time we we talk about oatly milk. We we it's a running. I don't know if it's a running joke or or what, but we say, is it really milk? Um, so we always say, is this really milk? That's one of the conversations we have. And the other is, is it really better for us? We're one of the very few companies with an official claim in Europe stating that if you drink three glasses of oat milk every day, you either maintain or lower your cholesterol. Now, that is scientifically proven and back. By the way, another funny side point. This came from Sweden. Europe loves to go to America and other other places because of the lax um, uh, marketing and uh, what's it called FDA standards that America has to to make money off of them. Australia did that with the blood and uh, the blood banks because you're not allowed to siphon as much blood from a, a person as someone making a company to do that in Australia. They do the same thing. I guarantee you they don't sell as much uh, Oatly or they're not allowed to sell Oatly like it in Europe because of the lax standards. Yeah, the, the blood vampires, exactly. And that is official claim that is related to, to Oatly only. I guarantee you, know? you so they don't have it. For, yes, it is. And that's also part of why we're so successful. Step five, drop off samples to baristas and tell them it's the greatest thing since, well, cow's milk. And this mm -hmm. final step will be your secret weapon. Because once the baristas saw how well your oat milk foamed, they started to push it on their customers. Oh, yeah. And within months, everyone was ordering oat milk at Starbucks. Yep, Starbucks got is considerably sweeter, as I've noticed from when oat milk got introduced. I got Starbucks maybe probably like in 20, I don't know, 14, maybe 2012. It wasn't that sweet. And then after the oat milk craze, I noticed this. Like, they started pushing the oat milk shit really hard. Europeans love to go to America since Columbus. That, that's the funny part. It's like, it, 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 we're the cows being milked by the Euros, and then they are like, ha, 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 look, look at the stupid Americans getting fat. I'm like, well, yeah, it's because you guys also make money off of Americans. Unfortunately, it is how it is. Capitalism is what it is. <laughs> You pay and have to get canceled in the queue future. Nice. Yep. <clears throat> I don't get Starbucks often, maybe like once a year, but I do do it. Just like, it's just the thing I do. Their oat milk or another brand from the study? I have no idea. I, I bet you a hundred bucks. The people in Sweden who founded this Oatly thing did not sell Oatly in Sweden. Or they have a different formula. It was a massive craze. And so it happened, by using all these different touch points to communicate the message that not only is Oatly supposedly more healthy than milk, mm. but it's also cool and environmentally friendly for you to drink it. Yeah, you created sure. a cult. A cult of people who buy your product because they also want to show that they're hip, health conscious, and care mm. about the environment. Okay. Which is why in the year 2020, Oatly sales grew by 200%. Mm -hmm. While other plant-based milk brands, they only grew by one to 2%. But now there's a target on your back and a certain someone has turned sour over your success. You created a cult work for Apple? Yes, absolutely. I think Apple did a great job with marketing.
It started in like what 2004 or 2006 where they pushed really really hard even though their products are absolutely dog shit and they just break all the time and they have like a cult following that de that is dedicated to buying their products like every fucking year. Their headphones were trash and people still bought their shit because iPods and Department of Mind Control. You made sure to take Jack. He actually took that stance, but it's like, yeah, look at this boomer drinking cow milk. Like, dude, he's just drinking milk, man. You actually, you act like he's drinking poison, Absent man. Cow's milk at every chance you got. What the fuck? Well, no cow. No, no, no. Well. What is this shit? <laughs> Milk shaming. Oh, man. Hey, it's my old pal Milk. According to you, replacing Insane. cow's milk with oat milk would save the planet. And oat milk is healthier than cow's milk. It has way less saturated fat. And saturated fat is super bad for you, which is a total lie, by the way. No, and you are not. putting these claims against cow's milk everywhere commercials, print ads, even right on the carton. And the dairy farmers? Yeah, they weren't too happy about this. Of and course. what do huge corporations do when they're not happy? They whip out the lawyers. In 2015, the Swedish Dairy Board sued you for slandering cow's milk in your commercials. And in the end, they won. You had to Based, actually. Only had to pay about 100,000 was banned from using the phrase in the future. I mean, a hundred thousand pounds is nothing, but still. Pay around a hundred thousand dollars for the damage you caused to their milk sales. And eventually, a law was passed in Europe that made it illegal for any company to call plant-based milk milk. You had to. Yeah, but you can still do that in America. That's the funny part. This is all European law. They can still. That's why they push it so hard in America because America doesn't have these laws, or at least not that I'm aware of. They might have changed it in the recent years, but still. They call it drink or milk with a Y. Yeah. But did this oh, stop milk. you from pushing milk. your chemical soup to the masses? No. It actually just made you more determined. You published yep. legal documents from your dairy board trial on your website, and you made commercials that framed the dairy board as a bully, and you, the poor, innocent victim. <laughs> and this actually made you more popular than you were before. The public started seeing you as human, as- Oh my god, I hate- Guys, wake up! Even the Europeans are doing this. This guy is Swedish! It's not about, like, it's not about our, like, like, our differences and, like, continents. Guys, band together. They're all fucking you for money. Euro bros and Amero bros, fucking put your hands together. They're trying to fuck you out of your money. They don't see you as a human being. They just see you as a wallet. As the little guy, someone they could relate it's so to. so cringe. It was honestly a genius marketing strategy. And so, oh, so your bad. sales continued to rise. But there was just one small problem. See, you went so hard with your marketing campaign that you forgot you were still making your oat milk from a small factory in Europe. And yeah, people were buying so much of it that there wasn't enough to go around. The grocery stores were running out. The coffee shops were crossing oat milk off their menus. You tried to open another factory in New Jersey, but just couldn't get things going fast enough. And pretty soon, companies like Chobani and Earth's Best started selling their own oat milk products to replace mm -hmm. yours. What can we say? The free market is ruthless. But yep. you still have one move left. The cancellation of Oatly. And I assume this didn't work that well because they're still really popular. 
And so there you were, a thirsty mob at your doorstep and not a drop of milk to spare. And you mm -hmm. could just sell your company and run. But then, all of that time and money you spent building your cult would have gone to waste. And let's be real, only an idiot would give up this great of a business. So, to dig yourself out of this pit, you call one of the largest investment firms in the world, the Blackstone Group. <gasps> and you ask them what? if they would be interested in making an investment in your company. Lucky oh for you, God, this Blackstone gave you $200 man. million dollars in exchange for 10% of Oatly. And it was exactly wow. what you needed to increase production. And this whole investment thing this seemed guy's... like a good idea at the time. But optically, it's it not wasn't the best move. It, it, I know it's not BlackRock. I, I, I saw that, but I'm just saying Blackstone is just as bad. Oof. Just as That's bad. That's because what you didn't realize is that the Blackstone Group supports a bunch of companies that straight up destroy the environment. Yep. Like Hydrovias do Brasil. A Brazilian company that was accused of deforestation in the, the Amazon. Forest, yep. And once your cult members found out that they were unknowingly supporting these corrupt companies through your connection to Blackstone, they were furious. They started to post all over social media, threatening to boycott your brand. Because one of the main reasons why people bought Oatly in the first place was to reduce their carbon footprint. Or was that a lie too? Of bigger things, it was. more important things. This is a recent campaign that we just did where we said, like, if how are people going to reduce the amount of carbon that they consume, the products that Fucking they consume, hipsters, unless they know what each product, what's the carbon footprint of each product? In 2021, <laughs> the UK's <laughs> Advertising Standards Authority <laughs> accused Oatly of making false claims about carbon emissions and discovered that they only consulted just one climate person to get their 73% figure. And researchers <laughs> like Jane Buxton found that dairy milk actually produces only one third of the carbon emissions that oat milk does. Oh, that's so, so the crazy. whole idea that you're gonna wow. save the environment by drinking processed oat water is just a flat out lie. Crazy. So here in the UK, dairy cows and beef cattle and um, and sheep, so all ruminants of any kind, um, are responsible for about 7% of our emissions. Why, are, why do we think cows are so bad? And incidentally, you know, the methane argument is, is, is dragged up again and again. Yes, cows emit methane, but so does everything. Everything yep. emits methane, including wetlands, which emit 20% of all methane. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She brought out the science. What about other milk alternatives? Oh, here we go. Here's a question. Now, you may be wondering, Anything? well, okay, evil food supply. Oat milk is obviously terrible. But the other nut milks can't be that bad now, can they? Like, what about almond milk? Well, sorry to yeah. say this. All these milk alternatives are... That's what I'm trying to... That was what I was trying to say. It, look at your ingredients in the back and you'll get your answer. You might not get an answer from this video, but you should always cross-reference and see it. Pretty much the same. It's all just water, Seed oil. nut of your choice, and the same long list of toxic yep. ingredients. Seed oils, emulsifiers, and lots and lots of other food additives. And yep. sometimes, there's barely even a sprinkle of real food in these milk substitutes. There's basically no almonds in the almond milk in your fridge right now. So if there's no almonds in my almond milk, what's in there? Well, it's mostly water, emulsifiers, gums, and oil. If you pour mm -hmm. an eight ounce cup of almond milk like this, there's about five almonds in that cup. And in this whole carton, it's only about 2% mm -hmm. almonds. Mm -hmm. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, fine. So other nut milks aren't any better. I'll just drink orange juice then, like simply orange. I mean, it- uh, that that's also bad. It makes your tummy upset. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to break it to you, Chad! It's just simply oranges, right? No, it even it's orange says concentrate. not from concentrate. Yes, so it, it is. can't be that bad, right? It's a lie. Well, think again. See, the Simply brand is owned by Coca-Cola, and they just got yep. caught doing something that is gonna make your blood boil. Coca-Cola, the parent company, just got sued because of high levels of toxic forever chemicals in their all-natural Simply Tropical Juice. Yep. The forever chemicals in question are called PFAX. PFAS are what PFAS! make nonstick pans not stick, while also being linked to things like liver damage, low birth weight, birth defects, delayed development, and newborn deaths. 
But the best part about Forever Chemicals is that they stay in your body literally forever. And Simply's products were found to contain more than- Aw, oh, the plastic in my blood can have a friend? Aw, oh, that's awesome. I love this. I'm gonna keep drinking it. 100 times <laughs> the EPA's recommended levels. And we expose it all in our latest newsletter that you can read for free right now by clicking the link below. This new newsletter of ours is where we get to alert you on breaking news stories about environmental right. toxins right away as they happen. We simply Edge. can't make these thorough documentaries Edge. on breaking stories that fast. So this newsletter is the perfect way to stay informed so that you can protect yourself Fui. and the people it's you Fui. care about. So click the square on the screen or scroll down and click the link below to sign up for free right now. Yay. It only takes 15 seconds. That was an informative video. However, take it with a grain of salt. This guy does have a bias. Everyone has a bias. There has a, there, there's a certain narrative to things. Always double check everything. Do your own research and also check on the back of your, um, what is it called? Uh, ingredients list and see what it has and how much of it, it there is in each portion. Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> Fuck, fucking shit on calm piss myself fuck 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 piss 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 piss